gauge, pressure gauge. It comes with the gun. Uh, all these guns today are 1.3, and I'm using with the DeVilvis the TE20 cap. Uh, they're all 1.3 tips, so normally I spray this with the 1.4 for waterborne, basically. But we're just to even the playing field, we're going to use 1.3s today. So. About six inches there. Mask up. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Got 12 inches. It's a little heavy on the bottom. I might have been the way I was holding it. Uh, Stop it and start a new one, or just keep going. Oh, that's, that's the Techna. We're going to do the RP next. Honestly, I don't know what to spray our, this RP. I use it for clear only. My other base gun is about 19, 18 pounds. This one I'm going to leave up a little higher just because I know how spraying works here. We've got about 24, 22 spraying full trigger. Uh, the reason I'm doing six inches where I normally spray base coat, we'll be able to kind of see, it's kind of close up here, but we'll do a six inch and then a 12 inch is about where the drop coat comes in. Eight inches here or so. About three seconds. That's a nice pattern. They both got nice patterns there. And then. This WS400, I usually choke it in quite a bit. It's got a massive fan pattern. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to do two of these. One with the, all the way open. We'll see what that looks like. And then choke it in a little bit. That's a massive pattern, but you can see it's a little bit, for a, for base coat, it looks like it'd be fine, about six inches, 12, we get a little bit heavy on both sides, both top and bottom. So choke it in a few turns. Let's see what it looks like.
Still a little heavy. Out at 12 inches on the top and bottom. You can see it's still, I've choked it in a bit and it's still a massive, massive fan pattern. Do one more on each of these. I'll drop these down to the about where we do a drop coat. And I'm just going to do a drop coat out here next to it, and then we'll see. Pressure down to about 14 or so. 